Hey YouTube! Welcome to my first attempt at vlogging. So what we're about to do right now is lay down our beds, our garden beds, and we're going to be doing a technique called lasagna gardening, which is basically we're going to take pieces of cardboard and put it down on the grass and then soak it down a lot with water. And then we're going to layer uh, layers of brown stuff. So that's things like leaves, uh, cardboard, shredded newspaper, straw, and then we're going to do layers of green stuff, so that's going to be nitrogen heavy things like our fruits and vegetable scraps, grass clippings, manure, which we may have some alpaca manure that we can work with uh, from the animals. And then you just keep on layering the brown and the green layers, wetting, like putting water, spraying down each layer as you add it. And we're going to build them up until they're maybe like a foot high. And then we're going to have to top it off with three to four inches of topsoil just so we can start planting right away. Most people when they do lasagna gardening, they go ahead and start this bed in the fall. And then it starts to break down during the winter. And then when spring comes, you can plant right in it. But we don't have time to do that right now. We just need to start gardening as quickly as possible. So I think this is going to be the fastest solution for us. So we're going to go ahead and go outside and get started. Now we're going to water it and then add some alpaca manure and then water that and then add some straw and water that and then add some veggies and then water that and then probably more leaves. just fun gathering the materials you know bunching up all the leaves and then spreading them on top so those beds are pretty much done now the only thing we need to do is tomorrow go get some topsoil and we'll want to have like two to three inches of topsoil across the top of the bed and then they'll be ready for planting so we're gonna do that right now I'm about to go for a walk um, not as long as I usually do I try and walk five miles a day but it's about to start raining so I'm just going to go try and get my old two in real quick. Richard just went down to the gym to work out. And then when we're both done with all of those activities, we're going to make some soup for dinner in the Instant Pot. So it'll be a nice, easy dinner with lots of root veggies. I'm looking forward to it. All right, and I'm going to go for a walk. All of it. The entire thing? Yeah. I'm not going to use like the wildy stuff. Though. We're making soup. 
Uh, here's all the ingredients. We're going to cut and chop and shred. Here's our instant pot pressure cooker. That's what we make our soup in. All right, I am on peeling squash duty. This is the best peeler ever. Eating some homemade kraut as we prepare this. This is a curtido. So it's green cabbage, onion, carrots, oregano, and red pepper flakes. And it's very yummy. Uh, better than boolean vegetable base in the soup to give it some flavor. Like just till it starts to cover this stuff. That's about it. To season oregano black pepper, garlic powder, a lot, a lot of garlic, <laughs> we love garlic, sea salt, dulce powder, the last of this turmeric, and cumin, and cumin, oh rosemary, oh and rosemary, yeah. all right, and then time to start it, we're what just do? going to do, I say five minutes. So now we wait for the soup and I'm signing off for the day. Richard and I are going to watch a movie and relax. And tomorrow we have lots of things to do. Bye!